Hey guys, Luke here, and today's video is going to be talking about the prospect of a brand new NRL team coming into the comp, a 17th team uh, in Brisbane. Now, they've actually got a, a name for it. Nothing's really official. I think this is their bid for it. So keep in mind that this might not happen. I mean, it probably won't happen, especially with all the stuff that's happening in the world right now, all the COVID stuff. Maybe that's going to put a stall to it, but I think they're going to be called the Firehawks. I believe that's what they're called. Um, the logo, it's on the screen at the moment. It looks very similar to an AFL team. Um, I can't really think off the top of my head what the AFL team is, but the colours, it just, it just screams AFL to me. Hang on, let me look it up. Uh, Adelaide Crows, Adelaide Crows. Let's take a look at their jersey and compare it to the colours that are on the logo. Okay, so as you can see, very, very similar. So I don't know if that's the best route. Obviously, the AFL is in Adelaide. This is uh, Brisbane for the NRL, so... Uh, maybe a little bit different, but I mean, even the Broncos have got red in it. Uh, I know it's something to do with, I think, something about fire. Obviously, why it's called the Firehawks, but at the same time, uh, it also reminds me of the Firebirds uh, in the netball, I think it is. It makes, it just, I don't know, there's some very similar things. Uh, you've got the AFL element, and then you've got the netball element. Uh, it does seem like a strange one, considering uh, some of the other options. Uh, even when the Gold Coast Titans came in, uh, I'm pretty sure they did a fan vote. Uh, I don't know if it was on the footy show or something like that. There was some sort of fan vote, and that's how they ended up with the Titans. Now, all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, they're like, hey guys, here's our new team, um, and here's our colours, and here's our logo. There was no sort of fan involvement. There was nothing like that. Also, just in that point, uh, it does seem weird. For all the years of talk about uh, the NRL needing a new team in Brisbane, uh, I mean, to be honest, I, I don't mind it, there being another team in Brisbane, but at the same time, it wouldn't be um, first on the agenda for me. But there was a lot of talk for years and years and years, all the media, we definitely need a Brisbane team, yada, yada, yada. And then all of a sudden, it kind of feels like it came out of nowhere with this bid. Um, there was no talk of, oh, there's going to be uh, the announcement of the, the new team, um, the team name, the colours. There was nothing like that. It was like, all of a sudden, you just load up Twitter or load up Facebook or something, and then all of a sudden, it was there. It was just, it sort of seemed to come out of nowhere. Now, just on the colors, once again, I actually do think this will produce some pretty cool jerseys, just depending on the designs and that sort of stuff. If this were to go through, I actually think the jersey designs would be actually pretty cool. Just the orange, yellow, and like the navy blue, I do think it is a pretty cool mix. Um, the AFL one it doesn't really do too much for me in terms of um, their jersey style, but they just got the hoops, they just got the, the stripes, um, so it's pretty boring stuff. Whereas if they can incorporate the logo a little bit on um, some sort of design, I'm sure they will. I think it can look really, really cool. So on that, on that hand, I feel like it actually is quite good, uh, but at the same time, like I've said already a few times now, there's so many references to other sports and other team names already. Um, just the fact that AFL, you, like your biggest rival, um, netball as well, Firebirds, um, LA Crows, Colours, it, it is a bit strange to me considering all the colours you could pick from. But overall, I don't mind it. I mean, the name the Firehawks, it, it's decent. It's not like outstanding. I mean, the Melbourne Storm doesn't exactly scream NRL to me, but here they are. They're a very strong team. Um, obviously, you've got Broncos and Titans and stuff who that there's NFL teams and other teams like that overseas. So you kind of have that where you sort of associate it with sports, but not exactly like, oh, well, that's an AFL team or that's a soccer team, whatever. NFL, like it's very popular in America, but I wouldn't say that much in Australia. So um, you can kind of rip off their names a little bit. But yeah, Firehawks, it does sound kind of fierce, I guess. So it's not like they've just, um, just added some random animal in and went, yeah, here's the bloody... Brisbane Koalas or something. Um, they've actually gone for something that looks quite fierce. It's got a cool logo. Um, something you can see um, NRL players running out to and say, oh, he's just scored for the Firehawks. It does sound kind of cool. Um, but in terms of the actual location, Brisbane, do they need a second team? Like I kind of briefly discussed earlier, I don't necessarily think they do. I mean, this couldn't come at a worse time for the Brisbane Broncos. They're in probably their worst patch um, in like the history of the club. And then with news of maybe a new team coming in, I mean, I think that'd be disastrous for them. Brisbane already have the pick of essentially Queensland and they miss out on so many players. Now for this other team to come in, I would love for them to just overtake the Broncos, to be honest with you, um, as bad as that sounds to Broncos fans, but just the Broncos have overlooked so many good players and they have to go to Sydney team. So it'd be cool for them to have another option um, rather than having to go uh, to a Sydney team or something. Also, I feel like it will spice things up a little bit in terms of Channel 9. It is very tiring seeing the Broncos on every Friday night at Suncorp um, or just some form of the Broncos on Friday night. It, it, it does get very boring, very repetitive. So if they added a new team, 
I feel like they'd at least be the flavour of the month and spice things up a little bit. However, I just can't see it happening anytime soon, especially with the COVID stuff. I was just reading a Fox Sports article and they said the Anarol's kind of thinking the same thing, which begs the question, why have they announced it right now? What's the point of it? If they don't even think it's going to happen anytime soon, why are they even doing it? But uh, yeah, just location-wise, I feel like there could have been a few other places that could have done with the NRL team. I don't really have anyone in particular in mind, but I mean, the obvious ones are there. They keep talking about Western Australia a lot. Um, even like a second New Zealand team or something would be quite cool. Just somewhere where it could actually grow the game. I don't feel like a second uh, Brisbane team is actually going to grow the game. I feel like all it will do is split the Brisbane fans. Um, Broncos fans are pretty loyal. Pretty good fan base, one of the best fan bases in the comp, I'd have to say. Look at the um, stadium attendance, it says it all really. But is that just going to is that gonna bring new fans to this Firehawks team, or is that going to take away the current fans from the Broncos and just shift them there and just split the audience? I don't really know. I feel like that's more likely to happen. I can see more um, Broncos fans who are kind of young and haven't experienced all the highs that the Broncos have had and sort of just started following them recently going, now nah, stuff this, we're jumping to the new team. Um, I can definitely see that happening. So that's the the minus of having a team in a, a second team in Brisbane, a team that's already got it. I can see them sort of becoming like Sydney where every, all the teams are just split for all the Sydney side. There's no big um, fan base of like that can pack out 50,000 every week. It's all split through many, many teams in Sydney where they all get sort of 10, 15 each. And then... Um, AFL and other sports look at them and go, ha, look at their crowd sizes, they're shit. Um, but in reality, we've just got more teams in um, closer areas. So I can definitely see that happening for Brisbane. Maybe even different parts of Queensland could have could have done with a new team, but they've been hell-bent on having this Brisbane side. Um, it looks like they're going to get it, to be honest. Now, guys, I would love to know your opinion on this. Do you think it's going to happen? Do you like the colours? Do you like the logo? Let me know in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on the Brisbane Firehawks? And anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Hopefully, you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to turn on notifications to let you know I uploaded a video, which apparently is important these days on YouTube. Uh, also, make sure you follow me on social media. It's on the screen right now. Mr. Luke and YT is my Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and Mr. Luke is my Facebook, so just give me a follow on that. Also, make sure you add me on Snapchat, Mr. Luke and YT as well. Send me what's on the screen right now. Anyway, guys, a brand new NRL team could be coming in the near future. Hopefully, uh, hopefully? I don't know. I don't know if it's hopefully. Um, but either way, could be a new team. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.